Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands is White Ash Presents Galarian from Scout Comics. Now, it's a one-shot diving into the world of White Ash, which I know nothing about. This is not a comic that I've uh, ever read, that I've ever checked out. So, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much going into this fairly new and, and a blank slate. Now, coming out of it, I kind of want to check out the world of White Ash. Like, this is a really solid one-shot comic uh, that gets me interested in seeing what else in this world uh, exists. So it's written by Charlie Stickney, lettering by Connor Hughes. Uh, there's there's three different stories. Uh, the first part's Romina Morel-Nelli is the artist. Second is Yishan Lee is the artist. And the third is Connor Hughes is the artist with colors by Finn Cram. So it's about this character named Glarian, uh, who's an elf from what I can tell. Uh, and the, the first thing starts off at like 1800 years ago or something like that. And folks are trying to kill her and then it kind of jumps out I think is like 1400 years ago and then the third is like 1852 in Pennsylvania uh, it's a really interesting concept of like these really long living uh, creatures and clearly like they're still around in modern times so you know how does that work like there's some really potential cool stuff of of old elves and dwarves in, in somewhat modern times um, it's, it drives into the, dives into the character of, of Galarian. It, it gives you a good sense of who she is, her history, like what type of character she is. It's good. It's it's really really good. I like I dug all three stories. Um, I liked how they're in, uh, connected. I also like that you could, you know, pick up each one and just read that individual story, and they would still work. But if you all if you read all three, uh, you know, it's it's just a little bit better. So I think it's it's really cool one shot, and and the most importantly is coming out of it, I want to find out more about all of this. Like, this is a fairly cool concept, a fairly cool world. And I'll admit, like, I've, I generally ignored it because it's fantasy, and for those who've watched my videos or listened to a podcast or anything like that, like, fantasy's not really my thing. The, the Lord of the Rings stuff isn't quite the fantasy that I like, and, you know, looking at this, it's kind of the vibe I got. So, you know, it was something I wasn't into from what I could tell. So, you know, when you, you're presented with, you know, hundreds of comics every single week, uh, you know, you kind of got to choose, pick and choose what you read. Um, so I've, I've generally ignored it. Now, it kind of makes me want to go and, like, get a trade of the first, you know, volume or whatever, number of issues. I think it's, like, up to seven or whatever. Um, at least get a trade of the, the first, whatever, four or five issues, whatever the trade is, and, and see how the series is. Like, check it out and, and see if I enjoy it. Like, if it's kind of like this, where it's more modern times, but, you know, has elves and dwarves kind of, like, doing their things in the background, to me that's a really, really cool concept. So it would be something that would appeal to me. Um, so overall, like, really, really happy with this. This is pretty cool that I checked it out. As I said, it's not something I would normally do. Um, the first issue is her, uh, Larian, being hunted down and uh, kicking ass. You get to, to see her parlay with uh, the people hunting her because there's, like, a big bounty on her, and then she just beats the crap out of them. Uh, it's it's a really cool sequence. It's a great way to set up the the comic in the series, uh, and really just nails it down as to who this character is or what she's like. So um, overall, like art's really good. The story's really cool. I think it's a nice mix of fantasy and, and the more modern aspects that I like. And most importantly, it has me wanting to go check out the actual White Ash series. So who knows? Maybe we'll do a, a future video of that if uh, if I decide to go get the trade or you know it winds up in my in my hands somehow. Uh, this is out now. It's been out for a few weeks. Uh, you can go get it. Uh, you know, I got my copy through the Scout uh, monthly box. Always recommend that. I think their boxes are pretty awesome. If you want to get it, we've got a link beneath this video where you can go and find a local comic shop. Um, local comic shop should be able to get this. If you don't have a local comic shop in your area, we'll have some links underneath. There might be affiliate links, and if they are, we get a small percentage of that by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. Uh, just by watching this video, you support our site. As always, appreciate that. And if you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. 
www.thepeopleshow.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.